Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to answer this question. How would you deploy your report or reports using BIDS or SSDT? As SSRS developers, we know that we use BIDS or SSDT to create our reports. Now, let's consider this project. I have created some reports here. And think about that after creating all these reports, I have checked in uh, my entire solution uh, in TFS, uh, Team Foundation Server or any uh, other version control software. Now, as a DBA or developer, we need to get that solution and deploy those uh, reports. So first of all, what we will do, we will check out uh, this entire solution. And once uh, we will check out to our local folder, we'll open this uh, solution. Now, as we have to deploy all these reports uh, from this solution, uh, we have to know the report server uh, URL where we need to deploy these uh, reports. Uh, so in my case, uh, this is the URL for our report server. I will suggest you to open uh, the report server URL before you will configure uh, in the bids or SSDT for deployment. Uh, so if you see the directories here, we have data source, we have uh, uh, reports directories uh, and I have deployed some of reports already if you have uh, uh, taken a look on other URL uh, this is called the report manager this is where you will manage the reports um, so this is this is not the URL you need you need the URL for your report server where you will see the directory structure so I'm going to copy this one and then we go to the bids or SSDT here right click on the project uh, go to properties uh, and then we will provide the information uh, where we would like to deploy publish or upload our reports uh, i'm going to leave overwrite data set property false i don't want to override it and override data source is false as well and then target data set folder if i'm deploying some shared data sets uh, to some uh, folder i can provide that uh, here so I don't have in my case, so I'm not going to bother myself. And then uh, we have to provide target data source folder. So if you are uh, having a uh, shared data sources here and uh, you would like to deploy them, you can uh, tell in which folder uh, you would like to deploy them. Uh, as uh, let's say we have the data sources already there on the server, we, we are fine and uh, leave this folder as it is. If uh, they would not be there, this will be deployed. Uh, and here is uh, your target report folder. So let's say we would like to deploy these reports to the, uh, I'm gonna call this one, report deploy test. And this is the folder we would like to deploy. If the folder is not there, it is gonna create a new folder and deploy the reports. So report target report part folder, this is not really uh, important. Uh, here we not deploy any part of the report and not using that so this folder is not related target server url that's where we need to provide the url for our report server now it's pretty much done the, these are the three important things you will provide in report server url report server folder uh, report sorry target report uh, folder and then uh, folder for the data sources so these are really three things important here so once you apply here and then hit ok the next part is though you can go ahead and deploy the reports so now we can go ahead and deploy the entire project that includes data sources shared data sets and all the reports so or we can deploy one atom at a time we can right click on data source and deploy we can if we have a shared data set we could have a right click and deploy and if we would like to just deploy one report we can go ahead and deploy so let's say if we would like to deploy a bunch of them so you can click here on the one then press shift and then right click and deploy so this is how you will deploy some of them you can select let's say you would like to select this one press uh, control and then select the other ones that you would like to deploy and then right click and deploy so this is how you will deploy the reports from bids or SSDT. Let's go ahead and deploy the entire project in this case. So we are going to go ahead and deploy. It is going to build the project first. So if there would be any unsaved changes, it's going to build it, save it, 
and uh, after that it will uh, deploy you can see it is deploying all those reports one after one we can go to the report server and take a look here and the report underscore deploy test now it has the reports in them we can click from here to see that or we can go to the report manager and refresh and see the folder is there and we can see all the details and take a look here and view our report once the reports are deployed then you need to provide permissions to the user most of the time dbs will do that and if you are a developer and you have uh, access to the development box uh, you can provide the permissions to your users uh, you can uh, click here go to manage and uh, here in the security sorry it's a totally wrong folder so you will be going to the folder and uh, here's in the security and edit item security okay and then a new role assignment so you can add browse uh, provide the name here and uh, provide browse or whatever the uh, the permissions you would like to provide to the user you can go ahead and uh, provide but uh, as a developer you will not be really having permission uh, to provide in production boxes uh, in most of the companies you don't but in some companies you might have it so this is how you will deploy the reports uh, from your uh, bids or ssdt and then provide the permission thanks very much for watching this video and i hope this will help